Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Cameron Tate. I am the food contributor for Outdoor Canada magazine. I've got Piper here, my sidekick with me today. Being a chef and an educator, I love teaching people how to cook. The one thing that is really, really important uh, is always having a sharp knife. So this one here is, uh, this is a Rapala knife. Uh, incredibly sharp and this one here is about 60 years old. Uh, there's another one here this is called a, a CUDA knife. It's a titanium bonded really really uh, razor sharp knife. It's a five inch. It has nice flexibility to it and, um, and it's got an anti-slip handle. It's a really great knife. So to start off this is a beautiful size eating walleye. So it's around 17, 18 inches long. Um, I always let all these, uh, the larger fish go. Um, those are the breeding stock. We want to make sure that we're always going to, to release those. Um, another thing that some people don't always notice is uh, the cheeks. The cheeks are such a beautiful fish uh, and then uh, a beautiful meat. And then also, this is what's called a walleye wing underneath here. Right, Piper? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take off the, the, the cheek. These are incredibly expensive if you buy these in the store. I just use the tip of my knife and then I pull off uh, the skin and you've got this beautiful little morsel here and that's great for a quick fry. Okay, so now the, the walleye wing. So right underneath here, there's all this kinds of meat. So you can scrape this off, get the scales off, but there's, uh, the, the meat is just on the inside. We're going to cut underneath here, basically until you hit the bone and then right underneath that gill plate and you're going to cut that and look at this. This is almost like uh, the chicken wing of the, the water. So you've got all this meat here, you can bread it and you can deep fry it. It's really great. Okay, here we go. To start off, what I do is I make an incision along the belly, this way you can kind of see uh, where you're cutting and it's a little bit easier to cut through at the same time. So I pinch right where the uh, cheeks are. And I cut here and what I do is I just go right along the backbone. So having a sharp knife, look how easily that comes off. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Right behind that gill plate and what we're doing is we're just cutting right away from us like that and then you get all of that meat. Okay, so now what we're going to do is using the tip of the knife, I'm just going underneath the rib cage and you want to get all of that meat. So a thin flexible knife will always cut better than a, uh, a more thicker uh, firmer knife. Okay, that's all you need to take off. So now there are these bones. They're called intramuscular bones and uh, we want to cut those out. One cut on either side and then we're just going to take off the skin. So that's it for today. We'll see you in the next video.